Palmer Station has to be one of my favorite places in the world. Sunrises and sunsets are so beautiful. It is just amazing in terms of wildlife. Every day can be completely different. You never know like what cool thing you're going to witness. You could see a penguin egg hatching. I would almost rather go there than go on a vacation. I'm Megan Semino, and I'm a biological oceanographer at the University of California, Santa Cruz, and I study the ecology and impact of climate change on penguins and other seabirds in Antarctica. And this is through the Palmer Station Long-Term Ecological Research Program, which is also known as the Palmer LTER. And most of these LTER sites have been visited for multiple decades, so it's an amazingly rich data set with a really long time series for any scientist to lean on to look at what has happened in the past to understand what's going on in the present. The main goal of this research is to understand the long-term trends in penguin populations. And to do this, we collect a number of different measurements throughout the Austral summer penguin breeding season. The tool that I want to talk to you guys about is a time depth recorder. And a time depth recorder is a small um, little cylinder that we put on the back of a penguin. And the penguin will wear this tag for a few days. And when the penguin goes in the water, the tag will turn on and it will record the time and how deep the penguin is diving. And so we get really high resolution observations of what the penguin is doing while it's in the water. If we know how deep the penguins are diving, we can determine where they're foraging for food and where their food, such as krill or fish, are hanging out in the water column. And we can also use that information to understand perhaps what the temperature of the water is and what the salinity is and, and other variables at these depths that these penguins are hanging out. A penguin colony definitely has a distinct smell and you don't actually have to visit the colony to smell it. You could be a couple miles away and you could actually smell it if the wind is blowing in the right direction. So some clothes you, you literally can't bring home because they will smell so bad. In studying birds, you get a window into the entire ecosystem and how it's changing year to year. Penguins and other seabirds are a really common indicator of what is going on in the ecosystem as a whole. And so knowing that a penguin population is changing suggests there's something larger going on. It's the circle of life. We're all connected and it's in all of our best interest to understand why exactly these changes are happening. <laughs> 